And good evening now. Thanks for being with us. I'm J.R. Berry. And I'm Darcy Strickland. We begin tonight at the State House as representatives on both sides of the aisle are saying this year they're serious about reforming the state's education system. In fact, today a group of bipartisan lawmakers pre-filed a proposed bill called the Teacher's Bill of Rights. News 19's Jacob Reynolds explains. Representatives Chris Wooten and Russell Ott say the need to help teachers in South Carolina has reached a critical time. It's gotten to a point, I think, now where it's so big of a problem that we can't ignore it. We don't, we don't want a teacher to walk out. Uh, I don't think that's the answer. And, and to tell you the truth, a lot of the teachers uh, have expressed to me that they feel like it. They just love the kids too much. And that's the passion that goes behind a lot of these educators is the fact that they truly love what they do or they would have walked out a long time ago. The two representatives are part of a bipartisan push for a so-called teacher bill of rights. Ott and Wooten pre-filed the proposed House bill with other co-sponsors on Tuesday. It's not just about our teachers' pay. Obviously, we've got to pay them. But when you talk about this bill, this bill is just the groundwork. I don't think it's the know-all, fix-all, but I do think it's the groundwork to let, let our people uh, in our communities know uh, that our teachers need to be taken care of. The House bill lists nine rights, including pay increases, protection from frivolous lawsuits, more disciplinary control in the classroom, and compensation for mandated work time outside the classroom. According to the most recent number, South Carolina's starting pay for a teacher with a bachelor's degree falls below North Carolina and Georgia's. The state also said 24 subject areas are in critical need of qualified teachers. That's why the representatives say the voters should demand action. So instead of just taking words for it, they should hold people accountable. And, you know, I, I think that's very important. And for people that are just telling them something's going to get done, I think they need to closely examine the actual vote. So teachers will have to wait and see if reform at the State House passes or fails in 2019. In Columbia, Jacob Reynolds, News 19, WLTX. Well, last week, lawmakers filed a Senate version of the Teachers' Bill of Rights. Republican Representative Wooten said he has not discussed the bill with Governor McMaster. 